and welcome back. Well now that we have our fuselage um, asymmetrical and with the turbo smooth applied we don't really want to modify it anymore at this stage so I'm going to pop up to the uh, layers manager and click in the fuselage layer and I'm going to freeze it. That way we can't make any more modifications um, intentionally or unintentionally. And the fact it has turned grey will probably help us um, during the course of this next tutorial. Okay. Um, also, frame helpers. We have them hidden at the moment. Let me pop in. Um, yeah, I want that one staying, which is the fuselage base. But I don't really need B, C, D, or E anymore. Okay, happy with that. Let's now select our wing and pop into modify. At the moment we do have the turbo smooth within our stack but I really need to collapse that now. So click on the wing and we're going to convert it to an editable poly. We still have a lot of modeling to do on this wing before we make a mirror copy of it and then weld the two halves together. At some point further down the line we will be attaching it to the fuselage but we won't be welding any of the vertices. So really we need to make sure that this edge here and the edge running underneath is touching the surface of this fuselage. So let's get cracking. Right, zoom in. Editable poly, we're going to go into vertices. Pan around, I'll select one to begin with. Pan around that. Let's have a look. Now I can see here that it's not up there so W for our selector move let's pull that up there actually let's put it into transparent mode and I'm going to pop along and I can just see the frame helper there the profile of the frame helper that's the top there going up to there perhaps if I unhide or unfreeze that frame helper so I'll just pop in frame helpers um, that's the one unfreeze it there that makes it a little bit easier for us All I'm doing at this stage is just getting them to follow the profile of the frame helper. And now that we have a lot more faces, that's a little bit easier to do. Okay, can't really see that one. Let's just pan around a little bit bring it out so it touches the surfaces there we can just see it touching pan around again out just a touch more let's bring that down pan around just so there it's just touching that surface there you know there's one around here somewhere so select it again it's inside the fuselage so let's pull it out a little bit there it goes bring it down just to the top I have another one in here there it is just bring it out so it's touching the surface and it's there we will probably have to modify these here 
and I want to bring that one across to there surface again it's just moving it around until we get it following the profile let's move across let's have a look at that one look at bringing it up and to there zoom around a little bit now you can see it's just away from the surface so let's bring that in so that that little red vertices there just rests on the surface of our fuselage I'm sure you can hear the tension in my voice as I'm doing this zoom in a little bit they're already close but now I do know with the wing that we will be applying another turbo smooth um, at a later stage okay zoom out just like that pivot around it let's take that one there pull it up let's zoom in it's following that there that one's ok let me just pop inside the fuselage that's the one I want so let's push it out to there and bring it to that point there where it's touching. Now I can select that one. Let's push that out. Push it in so it's just touching the surface and that frame helper there. Next one is about there. Push that down and you can see there that it's going through the surface just there that's what we want now we know it's coming up on the inside but once we apply an additional turbo smooth at that later stage that'll round that out a little bit better Okay. this section down here we'll just have a look pop inside zoom in it's that one there let's push that down it's gone through the surface let's have a look let's bring that down line that up yep maybe pull it across a little bit should be another one in there there it is this is where you could start becoming a little bit disoriented um, working in 3D space so it's a case of constantly moving around seeing where we are that one's ok there but this needs to come back and just touch the surface as you can see it's going in there so there it is just touching the surface there and if we pop underneath we can see how these lines are lining up and it's just outside of the surface if we go alt x you can see where it's broken through the surface here this is the surface of the fuselage this is the surface of the wing and when I said you'll probably find that the graying helps us in our modeling this is what I'm referring to okay
let's have a pivot around let's grab that one there and pull that down to there here with this one let's just zoom in that one there let's pull that down maybe a bit too much we may have to take several of these no perhaps we can get away with it that one there pull it down bring it across if that one's touching the surface maybe that can come up just that little bit that one there because it's the line which is running along here let's straighten that one out a little bit let's um, have a look inside again See that's lowered down. That one's high up. Let's turn that down so it pushes through the surface. There it goes. Just there. Well, we might be better off lining these up. See that section there. Push that down so it pops through the surface. That one there. Let's if we zoom in a bit push that one down there's one layer push that down through the surface and this one push that out to there we're on that, let's pivot round ok now we can see how it's all broken through the surface part there so let's pull that grab the blue one there and bring that down everything looking okay let's take that one just pull that across straighten a bit pull it down so it comes through the surface zoom in on that one a little bit As always, mindful of the time, we'll continue this in the next session. Okay, I'll catch you then.